Okay, this is a video about a uh, leverage buyout. One of these uh, interview cases with a leverage buyout. And I've got to admit something. I would have failed this video, th this test because I got myself a little screwed up with some of the <clears throat> timing. So uh, um, I, I, I need to be straightforward and you can get messed up. Uh, before I start, I've never kind of looked, at, I, I never look at these comments or my, how many views, I, which is not very many. Somebody comment said, please invest in a freelance editor. Here is my website. This is the amount of money I've made in the last year. And if I did something similar on YouTube, it would be exactly the same. So my IRR on some freelance editor is going to be zero. And I tried to get my find this uh, a microphone that was given to me and I lost it somehow. So I'm going to sorry about the quality. Here's what we're doing. We're going to if you uh, uh, ask, you know, a lot of people ask for the, the this 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 uh, resources and if you go into chapter number one there are all these different things that are hopefully a lot more interesting than what we're going to do right now but if you go into a project finance models even though this is leveraged buyout and then you go into this one called financial modeling exams why i've got a couple of extra things on here that i've got to do there's a test the rest of this is some, you know, some examples, so you can kind of look through these. I've completed quite a few of them, but not all of them. Okay, so we're going to uh, we're going to look at this one. Okay, and this one, I this one is a little bit different for me. Oh God, I should have opened it in Acrobat. Whatever. It's a it's a it's a leverage buyout. Now I'm cheating again because I've already read this, but I'm going to try to read it over with you carefully. For me, one of the really big things is to understand when the these people didn't give you enough information, and you're going to have to make some kind of assumptions, and you can kind of see some of the problems in 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 what they're doing. So let's start reading this. Your fund would be interested to acquire, in acquiring, if they could, if they could speak English a little bit, 97% of a company. So we're, we're going to, this is going to be a, a painful thing immediately. And we have to decide if we're going to model the whole company or part of it, which holds a large concession. So this seems to be some sort of train or hopefully train, electric train that's using solar power, hopefully that, but maybe it's a road, who knows, that will expire in 2034. Okay, now you're asked to prepare a clean, very good, so listen to this. It's nice and clean. They care about the colors. They care about the format. Don't think, if you think you took a university class and you're good at making a format, you're full of crap. Sorry, I'm not saying any swear words. Uh, uh, you really are. Set it up carefully. It takes years to really do this. And please listen to me on, on, on how to set this, the, uh, this stuff up. And then, <laughs> it's really embarrassing. A long time ago, I was asked, what's your passion in life? And I said, well, oh, it's coloring Excel sheets. And I don't, I'm not perfect at coloring them, that's for sure. And then it says, well, make a first analysis, whatever that means. I guess an annual model, compute the IRR. Yield is a silly statistic, totally silly, where you compute kind of the equity cash flow divided by the equity investment. Ridiculous, meaningless number. IRR gives you kind of a theoretical growth rate. Payback, okay, we'll do that. Because of the maturity of the fund, you will exit between 2024 and 2027. What in the heck are we going to do? That's got a lot of life left. We're going to have to put some kind of terminal value. And if you, I'll skip, if you put a terminal value of 8.5 times EBITDA, if they would allow that, my God, would that be wrong? 
the EBITDA is hardly just a couple of years of cash flow. Maybe you can uh, 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 do some kind of NPV, but certainly, oh my God, that's like saying my value, which as an old man who's got almost no remaining life left, is the same as your value as a young person who's trying to study these horrible, disgusting uh, interviews. <laughs> You know that to comply with the CCF, your equity is 400 million. Now look at this, 400 million. Put it, don't put it in thousands, millions. Put it in euros. Otherwise, you're going to get really messed up. Now, they gave a historic year, 2018, of 650 million. They gave a real growth rate. Notice they don't call it real. They don't say what to do about inflation anywhere in here. And we have to decide what to do. And then they have a confusing thing with the EBITDA margin. And they say 16% in I case, which means we can back into the OPEX. Okay. And we're going to assume, I think what you might want to do is assume everything without inflation and then add inflation. And then they have some synergies of 2 million. They put M here and million here. Fine. Okay. And they have it uh, over two periods. So we've got to figure out how to get that in the input page. They give you the EBITDA, the historic EBITDA, which uh, I'm not sure you even... Yes, you need that for one reason down here, because that's what they're going to base the uh, transaction on, okay? gave you some 8% as revenue. So we can't model just EBITDA, we better model revenues. They gave you CapEx 70 million after, after a year. And then you, they, then they said it's going to be provided by 80% of some cash we hopefully will have from our transaction. Ugh. And the remaining is financed through a bond issue. So there'll be this little bitty 20% of 70 million so 14 million bond issue. Why they put that in? Oh, and then they didn't tell you the interest rate or the tenor on the bond issue. So we've got to make those assumptions. How painful. Effective tax rate is 30%. Loss carry forward. That means that in the US, for example, if you if you carry forward a a some money from one year to the next, you can only use 80% of it. They say it all is. And, and we can put with the taxes a min max and, and get that a, a kind of straightened out. We have to kind of assume, uh, uh, we have to decide if we're going to model 97% of the company for tax purposes, or we're just going to model the whole company. I think I'm going to do 97%. If I'll sh you can tell me if you're wrong. I'm interested if you think that's wrong. The long-term debt is 300 million, 20 years from 2018. Now, just below that somewhere, it says the transaction date down here. It says it's 119. So by the time, uh, uh, so we have that starting, I, I guess that <laughs> it's 20 years. Okay, that's not, not a big deal. All right, and then they say the assets have a 25-year life, and you've got book value of 340 million of those, but that 340 million is, is in 2018. It doesn't say the, the, the other one, and they this you could get crazy about. Depreciating net book value is very different than gross book value, but again, I'm tempted to go crazy with this. They start with no cash, okay? And then we're going to have an acquisition period. And what we really need to do is get this kind of laid out as quickly as, as, as we can. And uh, uh, once, we, once we get it laid out, then we'll make a sources and uses of funds. And then they have a equity issue. We said equity was 400, debt is 400. So, uh, 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 well, no, they said equity is, we got to be really careful, maximum equity is 400, not the actual equity. So I'm going to do this in, I hopefully, in, in a kind of, in, in, in a more sensible way. 
I'm going to go crazy with the dates, and I hope I don't get screwed up. But if we want to compute the IR accurately, if we have a transaction year in one January, our operations on average will we'll get the operations in the middle of the year. And we have to, I think we have to be careful with what's a historic period, what's a transaction period, what's an exit period, and uh, 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 get these get these kind of dates right. So let's let's begin. Uh, I open generic macros. You can read it. You can do other things on that. And let's let's put some let's put some assumptions together. Okay, and let's call this our inputs. If you're fancy, you might put input C, but there's going to be one exception to that. So let's just call that input for now. And let's start with our timing. And we have to put a bunch of stuff together. And let's put our historic uh, uh, year. And this time, I'm going to do this a little bit different than I have been. Uh, uh, you know, they want it all elegant, so maybe maybe you do this, and you can you can do this kind of stuff where you put this like this, which is what I did before, and I went ended up wasting a whole bunch of time on that. So that would be kind of ridiculous to to get overly you know crazy about this stuff, okay? And 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 let's put this now. The other thing they did is they gave you a low let's put our base uh, low and high and hopefully we'll have a chance to, to to get this and we'll use an index function eventually to put all of those things together so this we can put 2018 for all of these okay uh, uh, and then if you want shift control r to get that fast and then let's put our transaction a year here and control D whoops and, and, and let's let's put 2019 okay and uh, uh, once we have that then then we have end of concession and then and, and maybe we just take it all the way to the end of the concession we have to get that terminal value they didn't put any assumption in about that. Maybe the best thing to do is leave it out for, for, for a while. And uh, uh, that that was 2034 or something like that. No, what was it? A lot for 2034. So it's not all that long. Uh, well, no, 2018, 2034. So how many years are we really going to model? 16 years let's make we can put like 18 years in here okay and then uh, let's put our month uh, uh, for for operations and and uh, let's make that July 1 and then transaction month okay and and again they i'm not sure if they really want you to to kind of get this fancy but now you're showing off and and then we can put an exit a, a, a year and and for that exit year uh i suppose we, we we should put it in the middle of the year and they gave us a range and clearly when they say flexible they want you to put some range in so that's 2024 to 2027 and let's just start with uh, uh, that and put uh, uh, 2024 okay and so now and and for all of these you could and i'm not i'm, I'm probably going to stop doing this but this this is kind of this style where you can put everything together and then even though they're all the same excuse me for that even though the, they're, they're all the same and and that's what we have for the years and then let's put some operations and for the operations we can start with revenue 
Uh, and we can put the uh, 2018 revenue and then we can put the, the uh, 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 real growth rate. And I would certainly not put a different inflation for, 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 for the rest of the growth rate. And then let's put uh, EBITDA and margin, how's that? And we can then put 2018 EBITDA and then we can put EBITDA margin and this this one you remember so this this was uh, euro and I suggested you put 650 one two three one two three okay and 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 perhaps uh, and I'm not gonna keep ah oh, see I'm not gonna keep doing this right now uh, and let's let's get them a little wider okay so uh, uh, and then this is percent p dot a if you want to get a little fancier and this remember this is these are all going to uh, come from the they're they're all going to come from these columns because uh, this what was this beginning EBITDA I think it was 103 okay so let's put that up uh, 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 let's put that in and and I hope you're saying well why don't you just give me the assumptions I hope you're saying no really understanding the assumptions is what it's all about whoops and, and this, this is here okay and Mario I really can't go and talk to you right now okay and and, and then this margin was either in the base they didn't take the, the base this was 14 percent in the shift control p by the way 16 percent because i've got generic macros open on and maybe they kind of it seemed like this and then uh uh so let's just for now it seemed like that like they wanted you to start with the high case for some weird reason maybe maybe not uh, uh come on what's this Whoops. Oh, come on. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, God damn. Ah, what? Okay. Did I just close it? Shit. Oh, I swore now I can't put the... Now I'm going to lose all my viewers because I can't put any... Uh, 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 it can't be for kids or whatever these people get worried about with their YouTube algorithms. Uh, just a minute. Uh, okay, Th this is all okay. Okay, all right. So let's uh, uh, let's not. So we this is going to define our operating costs. Okay, and uh, uh, after we put the uh, EBITDA margins, let's always understand that every single thing in the world has capex, opex, and. Uh, 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 and this is in 2020 and uh, uh, let's just put uh, capex okay let's just put that in in euro and that was i remember that was 70 million okay uh, whoops ah damn damn waste if you can prevent yourself from doing silly things like that it would be really really good Okay, and then we, after that, we have working capital. Uh, and then we have percent of revenue. Don't worry about, make the columns big and, and describe these things. Okay, was that seven or eight percent? I think it was eight percent. Okay, and we're going to put the change in working capital in here and, and, and model all of that okay eight percent is a heck of a lot for a, any kind of infrastructure project where you get paid a toll or a, or or when you put your 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 credit card on the, the the tube or whatever you get that okay 
and then and then uh, okay let's let's put the 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 let's get the, do we have anything else that's we we've got the tax rate we've got depreciation we've got zero cash and then we've got the 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 financing so let's put the uh, uh let's put the the uh taxes and depreciation okay and let's put the tax rate as and that's 30 percent and i'm going to stop copying it and depreciation base even though it and that's net book value it's so it's it, it you know they really are confusing gross and net but we don't have to worry about that and, and what was that that was something like 350 million okay so which is really kind of interesting you're going to pay a heck of a lot more than the, the book value 340 million okay so just the equity plus the debt you're going to pay you're going to be massively giving somebody a, a, a capital gain when you do this good for them whatever but uh, you could even make a note of that and, and I just, it was 340 million, wasn't it? So I can't remember this. This is because I've got not much remaining life left. They talk about remaining life in there. Three, four, zero, comma, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, okay? And uh, uh, then we have remaining life, and I'll put net book value. And that's that's in years. And that's uh, uh, 25 years. And then they didn't tell you the CapEx. And then uh, 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 and maybe you could do a F7 and, and put uh, uh, life of CapEx. And, and let's do the same thing. Scan likely phone call. OK. Uh, uh, and let's put years. 25 because it's really very very different but okay who cares uh, maybe it's it's kind of similar uh, what's the concession period the concession period is if, if this was just built it's it's this minus this so <laughs> who knows what what's going on with maybe there's there's even more of a residual value we just discovered something and then let's put the financing and and for the financing uh, we could start let's start with debt existing uh, uh, debt and and let's put the amount and the the uh, amortization and then and, and the and years and the interest rate and that's what you always need uh, okay and and the amount i can't remember what that was okay the the book value 300 million 20 years and that's what you really want for all the debt okay and and 20 years and what did I say? Five uh, percent. Uh, uh, okay, and then we have the new debt, and and the amount. Okay, but this this is really horrible the way they did this. Okay, so <laughs> they they better be earning a high return because they've only got this much book value, and they you're you're going to. Uh, 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 pay the existing debt and, and we're not going to repay it we're just going to leave that existing debt on there so it won't be on the sources and uses of funds uh, but they had 400 million so we're going to have to pay off that the, the new debt and then the, the, the repayment and then they put this uh, uh, in, in five years that to be able to pay you're, you're not going to be able to pay a bullet repayment in five years so they they left something complicated and difficult now 
before I forget, let, let's put a up here. Let's just put an inflation rate. And let's just leave that out for now, because maybe we can have some time at the end. This was a two hour test, maybe, but we would probably run out of time. And then we have a base rate and they didn't tell you I'm going to put one percent because it was back when the interest rates are low. And then they put this ridiculous credit spread. That credit spread, you should know that a credit spread of 600 basis points, uh, uh, base, a 600 basis point is going to be like a triple C debt. It's ridiculous what they use, but that's okay. And then they put a, a cash lockup which could create some 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 money uh, and and we put times and we put 1.2 so we can't issue a dividend we have to compute the dscr and see if it's below 1.2 and compute that okay and then they also they didn't give you a cash sweep because for this i'd, I'd kind of like to pay it off as fast as possible but how are we going to, when we, and let's put 0% at first. And then we could put, after that, let's put our bond issue, uh, uh, percent of CapEx. And that's, that's uh, that was our, our, what was that? It was 20%. Oh, God. And then we can put the, we, they didn't give us all this stuff. How about let's, let's just, to do this, let's try to be a little efficient and ah, no, okay, and, and, and copy that and get that down here. Okay, I'm not saying I'm doing this correctly, but they put some of this little tricky crap in and almost everybody does that. They kind of give you a basic thing that looks kind of easy, uh, inflation rates, growth rates, EBITDA, margin, blah, blah, blah. And then they throw in some things to kind of separate those, ooh, the really good ones. And then we put a uh, 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 transaction. Uh, how about up here? You know, we better up here put uh, uh, percent financed or something. And I'm going to I'm, I'm going to just take all of our uh, uh, and let's put 97 percent. OK, and uh, uh, then we can put our enter uh, uh, our EV to EBITDA. And that was a multiple. They gave us eight, eight point five. So you're going to take shift control Q eight point five. Five. So if we just do something, was it 8.5 or something else? Was it 8.5 of 2018 acquisition date? And we've got everything in there. Oof, we've got everything in there. And that took a long time. But when you put it in, uh, it, you better organize it kind of an, in a nice way. So we're going to pay... 875 million for an asset that's that's a book value of a whole lot less so the equity value would be the equity amount we're going to pay is is this okay so we're going to pay 475 million oh but we can only put a maximum of of uh, 400 million in here so oh shoot Huh, maybe we're going to have to then be really smart and say we can't buy 97%. We've got that, that, that. So let's put maximum equity. Okay. So we better use a, okay. Maybe I've done something really stupid. It could be. Maybe I've done it too fast. You can correct me on this. But this was... And we've got every piece of information and get that and shift control C. Uh, let's not put a title row. Let's put a title column in B and let's color the sheet. And they, because they said they seem to be obsessed. Oh, make it all nice and show what's an input and, 
and and we have it nicely arranged and please do that oh please do that i'm not gonna cry and then put our uh, financial uh, 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 model together okay and let's make a b and c really small and let's start with a period okay uh, and uh and I'm going to start with period zero. Oh, how about I'm going to make it minus one? That's our historic period. Zero could be a transaction period, and then we start. Alt EIS, not Excel. Alt EIS. And put, let's put uh, 25, even though that, uh, and then let's get in after we, uh, uh, whoops, and okay, and put some timing in. And let's put our historic period. And let's make our historic period be uh, 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 minus one. I this is kind of bad. I'm doing this. And let's make our transaction period. Uh, let's make that uh, uh, zero. And let's make start of operations uh, let's make that one okay and 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 we'll put some flags but then once we have that flags uh, uh, then I think we should put a uh, 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 holding period how about operating period concession operating period And then operating, and, and then holding period. And then we remember, ah, shoot, I forgot something big because I did not put, maybe at the very bottom, I'm going to put uh, exit value. And, and you know, it would be very tempting to put an exit EV to EBITDA multiple. And I think that would be, I told you it would be uh, uh, really bad. And let's put discount rate and let's put a percent and let's put uh, I don't know five percent something crazy okay we just need that so we've got a holding we got a concession period and a, a a holding period but we really don't know that until we let's get the 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 historic year that let, let's get the the uh, uh We've got to get this. This is the biggest pain of this whole whole thing. I'm going to put historic year and then transaction. And maybe somebody has a really good and, and then uh, operating year. And let's see if we can kind of do that. Now let's get from our inputs what the historic year is so th this this might for me this is almost the most difficult part of this and uh, uh, and once we uh, 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 I'm gonna make that the same thing and for the concession period it goes out till 2034 and then we have the exit year and we can try to do some sensitivity analysis with our exit period so let's get some flags. This equal this. Okay, shift control R. This equal this. Shift control R. This equal this. Shift control R. Now, if you want, you could press shift control B on this one. Shift control B. Shift control B. Shift control R. And when you're doing this, I think we probably need up here. I'm going to even up here. Finally, when we're we're, we're finished this, I'm going to put model period date, and I'm going to move this model period date right up to here. So let's copy it twice. This is where we're going to put the the, the month in, and then let's go down here. Alt W F F. Okay, and uh, let's skip that and let's put this one. Now, before I do this, 
shift con control shift alternate uh, control <laughs> control alt c and let's put eight periods up here and let's put a title on it and this time when we color the sheet we'll do what you should be doing which is showing what's an input uh, uh, what's an input and we should show if you can see there's a little bit of a different color on the ones and the zeros maybe on this one I can't do this so for the historic period let's let's press f4 uh, uh, times the uh, yeah, no, let, let's use an if statement. If if it's the if it's this, we put this one, otherwise we'll just leave it false. Okay. This one will do the same thing. If it's this one, sorry. If if it's this one, then we'll put this one, otherwise we'll leave it false. And then for the operating year, we want to put uh 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 and, and now I think we needed one more uh, uh, thing, and we should put, uh, well, well, let's, let's just put the start of operations, and, and then we want to go. If, this is a little bit trickier, if it's this one, uh, uh, the, the start of operations, then we're going to use this one. Otherwise, let's go back one and add one. Okay. And add one but only add one how, how, how about uh, uh, operations flag uh, uh, uh. and i can't believe i didn't do something here you know you better oh they seem to be obsessed with this kind of stuff which they should be in a way uh, 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 up here we should put our units Okay, and maybe, I, I don't know, maybe it's best to do it like this when you kind of do, do it at the, the end, you know. And Okay, whoops. And, and don't worry about the formatting. We're going to fix that in just a minute. So put for the operating flag, let's get the same thing and put this one is greater than, uh, uh, excuse me, equal uh, uh, this number is greater than or equal to this. Now I'm going. I'm very obsessed with this. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really obsessed with this. And you can yell at me and say, "Ah, don't do this." And, and what we're going to do instead of putting plus one, we can put plus the operations flag. So now we we have this kind of the whole thing and and maybe yeah you know what I should have done is shift control B shift control R and shift control shift control B shift control R okay and 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 now and I should have said if it's this one and I forgot of course to to block it and then we'll put the year okay okay uh, and that was a pain, and, and I wasted way too much time in our test on this, but, you know, and, and, and maybe that's really stupid, I, I, you could argue. And then the concession period is, we have two things, and this one, it has to be the operating period, and it's, it's the year is less than or equal to, to this. And let's see if shift control B, shift control R. Let's and, and then we have our holding period and we can put and this has to be happening and the year has to be less than or equal to, to this year. Okay, so we can I'm pressing shift control B, shift control R just because I have the generic macros open. So we have a lot of extra uh, 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 life here. And then the, for the model period date, let's get our, our 7 and our 1. Okay, and if it's the transaction period, so let's put if it's the transaction period up here, then let's take, we're going to, that's the month, otherwise we're just going to use the middle of the year. Okay. And finally, we can a model period. How about this month? And and model period date. Now this is kind of overdoing it. 
I totally believe, you know, and you can, you can do this much simpler, but now I can put the year and the month and one for a date, shift control three, shift control R. Okay, so we have this one month, and then we can use the XIRR ultimately. Now let's see if we can start now if you press uh, shift alternate C again. We just have to press color the sheet. You, you, you could kind of wait to do this, but I just want to show you how it works. Okay, and it should go quickly, hopefully, and, and then uh, let's get this date up here because this date we're going to use over and over again for our, I think we've got most of the flags and, 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 and we can get started. Actually, I have to get rid of this. Oh, shoot. But okay, let me do that later. Let's put operations. And, and let's, if we want, if we have a growth rate, let's put the, the, let's put the, the, the growth rate in here first. So let's go and get that. Uh, before we even put our, our, our kind of base value in, okay? And this growth rate, we're just going to apply it if it's, the, if it's the operations period, then we'll take this growth rate, okay? Maybe I'll uh, shift control P, shift control R. You really have to get fast at this stuff. And then we can put the growth, uh, um, index okay and uh so so we're gonna uh, uh so let's just i'm gonna start here this some people would say oh that's a crime you can't do that because you're putting a little bit of an in input there and i say i don't care we we, we have to be a little bit reasonable especially if we want to get all this stuff done and then we can put the base revenue and our base revenue is, and maybe you could even call this an index, and our base revenues in euro, and let's get our base revenues from here. We're going to have to probably eventually put this, and then our, let, let's just take this one, F4, okay, and when you do this, control space bar and make it wide. Again, Please, you didn't learn enough in university. They they taught you this basic Excel crap, and you think you're really good, and then put a revenue forecast. I'm being arrogant just because I've done it so badly. Okay, and 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 let's let's get this one, and let's multiply this by the index, by the operations. So we already start to see that that investment you made, shift control W, that investment you made is, is hopefully uh, 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 starting to pay off. Now, I forgot to put these stupid synergies in here. <sighs> okay. Uh, uh, year... Uh, synergies and then we can put flag for synergies so we'll we'll, we'll put that in, in a minute but but year and they had it for 2020 shift control w2020 and then uh, the, this one, LTIS, come on. I don't know why I went too fast. Uh, Euro and flag. And we can turn this on and off, okay? Uh, uh, let's put true here, okay? And they gave you those synergies, which were, I think, uh, what were they? Uh, two million, okay. But uh, the uh, so caught, launched in twenty twenty and fully efficient in twenty twenty one. So so let's do 
I didn't really need 2022, but okay. So let's say it's 1 million here. They, they, ah, shoot. Okay. And then let's say it's 2 million here. Okay. And then let's control R on that one. And we can either apply them or not. Okay, so that, then we have a revenue forecast, but then let's put operating. Uh, 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 mm, yeah, we have, how about operating uh, expenses? And to get our expenses, we're going to put our margin in here first. And once we that, have that, we'll put our implied uh, uh, um, up x and you know we, we don't have an inflation in here and we could put an inflation in all of this but for, for two hours it's gonna it, it's gonna start to to be difficult especially if we want to be fancy with some of the other stuff uh, uh implied up x and then we uh, uh, uh okay and then so let's put our margin in as a percent and how about we'll uh, 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 do this? And let's let's be a little bit transparent. Let's put so if if I, well okay. Uh, uh, how about this? <laughs> I, I, just so on this one, Shift Control R, and then uh, 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 we 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 get our. How about let, let's get our implied uh, EBITDA. Okay. And, and let's... Uh... <laughs> uh, you see, I, I, there, there's got to be a, a, a way. So let's take this one divided by this one. Okay. And... Uh, uh, come on. Whoops. Uh, 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 uh. No, it's st so stupid. I can't, I can't even believe how idiotic I just was. So, so our EBITDA isn't increasing that much, even in the, in, in the high case. So, <laughs> cause remember it was 103 in, in, in the other, in the other cases. And uh, uh, implied up x okay so we don't we probably won't need that at all but let's just get it it's easy oops and then now let's put our, our synergies and let's put this kind let's get our flag to either turn them on or off. So we're showing we're a little bit fancy. And then use a lookup function. And when you look at use a lookup function, luckily we have the year. And then I realize I, 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 I did something really bad here. And then just do it really fast. Don't use any B lookup or H lookup and don't get an NA. So you put two, 2018 here to, to get rid of the NA. Shift control W, shift control R. Okay, do that really quickly, and then we 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 have our total EBITDA, which we're really getting. So now we're we're, we're getting somewhere, and we that's just our our uh, this EBITDA plus plus this one if we want to do it that way. Okay, okay, a little bit more, but still, okay. This is going to be kind of interesting to see if we can make this this whole thing work and then we we uh, 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 okay uh, just a minute uh, I, I'm thinking about what we're going to do about the okay uh, let's let's before we get our do our depreciation on our taxes uh, uh, let's get our working capital. And you know we're gonna we're going to 
Let's just put that in euro and let's just get that right away. So that our working capital is a percentage of revenue. And and we'll just get our our revenue. And I they didn't tell you how much working capital they have. So how about let's on this on, on this one, let's put uh 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 uh, uh, uh let, let's put uh, uh, revenues including history okay uh, you know I'm, how you really do this I don't know so let's get our 650 so so how about it if if it's the operating period then we'll just get our our revenues we computed otherwise we'll get our base revenues okay and so our working capital is going to be uh, uh, this number times this one i'm not even going to worry about the transaction period right now because because we're really in a hurry and then we can put change in working capital okay and when we compute all our cash flows, we'll obviously do that. So we can take this minus this and see what kind of what kind of additional working capital we need. And then let's put taxes. Uh, uh, how about let's just put depreciation. Oh, let's put our, our capex. And, and let's uh, uh, up here, if, if we wanted to do it a little bit fancy, what we could do is just put up here 2018 uh, uh, 8 no yeah let's let's we're, we're gonna let i i think we almost and i have no problem with this at all put let's put capex period uh and and, and make that a flag and get the I don't think I put it in there, so so I'm just going to cheat for now and put an equal sign whether this thing equals the 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 uh, year, okay? And then our uh, uh, capex in euro. And I think I'm sorry, but I really think that a lot of this stuff is is really important more so than some of the other stuff we're going to do okay and so now we can uh, we're we're just about finished but we need to get our depreciation and let's put our, our uh, let, how about we'll put our book value and don't, it, it, it's really hard not to get too lost in this kind of stuff and get all obsessed and waste a whole bunch of time on this stuff. And let's just put the, the let's just flatten it all the way out. And then let's just put remaining life. And, and uh, years. And, and get our, our uh, 25 um, years up here. And maybe I'm going to too slowly because I'm doing it each one. And then let's put uh, depreciation. Uh, existing, something like that, depreciation. Okay, and don't be chintzy with the titles, okay? And that's just this, and we can later put it in into our uh, uh, whatever. And, and uh, I, I almost want to compute the accumulated depreciation because uh, uh, we've got to stop it after year 25. So how about this? Let's take this one and multiply it by the, the operations flag, okay? Because we're going to start there. And then also uh, put uh, put depreciation period, and and that's in that's a flag, and that this one's an easy one. The next one will be a little bit tougher. Uh, uh, this is going to be um, 
uh, uh, this big number up here less than or equal to the oop I'll, I'll do that like that uh, uh it's yeah okay we can do that and, and then so our existing depreciation we better multiply it by our little uh, flag and we don't need the operating flag we yes we do let's put the operating flag that's a little bit too long of a formula, but what the heck, uh, it's just depreciation. And then what we should do is really, on some of this, it, there's a little a thing I have, shift control W. We should put up here a, call this constant, and call this a sum, okay? And you can, uh, let, let's, I think what we we, we sh shift control uh, 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 V for vector. Whoops, no, that's the next one. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's okay. I think it's just a big number. Okay. There we've got 19 million in in in, in revenues. We've got ooh, we've got a lot of operating expenses. We've got that many synergies. This is our total EBITDA, which is a lot. We can maybe that's why we can pay. That's how much we gotta pay in a change in working capital. This is our whoops. Okay, this is our whoops. Uh, there was something wrong here. Shift Control W, Shift Control W. Okay, and so our depreciation. It's we just checked it. Okay, and if you really wanted to do something fancy. You could kind of do a little bit of this, but don't waste too much time on that. And then we put a, 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 a basis of new uh, capex. And here's what you could do with that one. Uh, you, you, you take this, you go backwards one. And the only reason we need to do all of this is really for our taxes. And, and then uh, uh, after we have the basis for the new capex, let's uh, uh, put the uh, uh, depreciation life and, uh, and get that one. So we said we we're going to have the same life, uh, which is okay. It's probably because they're just starting. It's probably reasonable here. Whoops. Oh, come on. Okay. And then let's put uh, uh, um, period uh, of depreciation and let's make that a little flag and or a counter. It's more like a counter. And, and, and then we're, we're putting this. I, I'm, I'm afraid to do the next thing. I'm, I'm kind of afraid to do this. Okay, uh, uh, just a minute. We, we want to start counting this. Uh, 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 okay, uh, here. Uh, first, let's let's put this. Uh, let's put uh, uh, depreciation uh, life for for depreciation. I, I know that's probably the wrong place to do it, but. Uh, Let's put another flag and let's get this one and put this <sighs> uh, 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 the year. God, I hate this. It's greater than or equal to 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 this year. Okay, really, you got to practice going fast with this crap. And then we can put the the period of depreciation. We can go back one. Uh, uh, and add this little true and false up here, okay? And then we can say the the depreciation, okay? And they probably didn't even expect you to do this kind of stuff, but they they messed it up, so you got to fix their stuff. It's going to be this divided by this times uh, 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 this. How about... <laughs> uh, uh, well, it, I'm going to do something really bad. This is less than or equal to the 25. I'm going to, because this is so painful. Let's just get that done. Okay. 
So if we press shift control, uh oh, uh, did I? Uh, 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 that's less than or equal. Um, and if I press here, you can press shift control B, shift control R, shift control V. Oh, we didn't get all the way to 25 years by the end, okay? We never got there. That's fine, okay? Uh, now, uh, uh, so now let's make our transaction. I almost want to take a little break, but I won't. So to make our transaction, we're going to, I would start with a sources and uses of funds. So, so let's put uses of funds. And we're going to only buy, remember, 25% and then 97% of the company. So we could put the, the what we're going to pay for the uh, uh, enterprise value. Now, if we what happens if if we run out of equity, we could either put new debt, which we're going to do. We could put new debt in or buy less of the company, but we're going to have to uh, 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 work through that. So let's put uh, uh, how about EV? Uh, uh, let, let's put. <laughs> Enter uh, 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 EV purchased. Uh, oh, no, before that, how about let's do this? Let's put, uh, 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 we, we maybe, uh, I, I normally wouldn't do this, but, but let's put existing debt. Because I just realized that we, the enterprise value is the, 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 the the total value uh, uh, the equity value plus the debt well we don't really that's not going to affect anything just a minute enterprise value we're going to pay uh, uh, so so we're going to get the, the uh, let's let's get the Let's get the EV to EBITDA. We, we, I'm, I'm struggling because of this assumption they, they gave us. Okay, and how about this? Let's put uh, up here, we'll put uh, uh, EBITDA to fund. Okay, and, 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 and then we'll, we'll put in, in that in Euro. And let's get our, our uh, where's our 97%, okay? Uh, and I suppose we, we can, let's, let's take, for, for now, let's take the, the, the EBITDA, okay. Uh, let's, let's put another uh, constant here and get our, our, uh, uh, whoops, sorry. Let's get our EBITDA, okay? Oh, shit. Okay, so this is, let's take this, F4, multiply it by this, F4, multiply it by the transaction period. Did I put the transaction period here? Yeah, and, and I just took the wrong one. Okay. That's how much we're taking out. That's okay. And then uh, uh, let's, our, the amount of, we pay for the enterprise value is this number times the, the, the 8.5 times, okay? that there's our 849 and we don't pay if you put any fees here or if we were uh, uh, retiring debt we would do this but I think we should put in the, the this is the enterprise value and just one second I have to think for one second I gotta look okay Okay, I'm, I'm getting lost on the existing debt, but let's let's do this. Let's put existing debt, and whenever we do this, let's put the opening 
at balance and and uh, that that we've got our huh, three hundred thousand okay and ah stupid thing and then uh, uh, so and and this was the 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 balance as of and and, and then actually let's put less the the uh, repayment and 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 let's get our our um, uh, twenty years and how about this yeah you know you, this is style but I'm gonna take this divided by that that's gonna be how much we closing balance. Uh, and, and let's put and then let's just do a little creative let's do something creative so let's take this and let's put for the closing balance they said that's the closing balance of, of here so we, we put if it's uh, uh, if it's the operations flag okay then we're going to take the opening balance minus the repayments otherwise we'll just start with this and let's see how that's going to work so you that's the the closing balance opening balance always equals the pre previous year's closing balance and the repayment we start we start on the at the operating period okay so i, I think it really was kind of worthwhile and and then let's uh, uh i guess we can uh, here let, let's put the the um, uh, uh, repayment period okay and and, and just put a uh, how about this we'll, we'll we'll make this a flag and then if you if you need to grab something f2 f4 and then once you do that copy that up to here and then go up here and make this kind of less than or equal to to this number okay so the, the good news if uh uh, uh uh just a minute uh i think that's okay and and the repayment is is this thing times also this flag and let's just make sure that all worked and while we're at it let's let's get the the uh, let's get the the uh, 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 let's get the interest and now I, I'm gonna do some uh, and, and and this is all pretty easy but y you know and, and since it's uh, uh, this since we're doing this annual business we can take the average of the opening and the closing whoops I normally in a project finance model you never do this and multiply that by our uh, operations now now this is where I'm probably going to do something controversial now these all have to be multiplied by our eventually by our our, our 97 percent let's put sources of funds And then let's say if, if this is enterprise value, EV equals debt plus equity. Okay, and, and I'll leave that. We'll delete that in a minute. So we have, if we'll, we'll, we can put our new debt here, uh, uh, and, and eventually we'll, we'll have that debt financing the bond, uh, the, the CapEx, and then we'll put our equity. Now, now the equity is, is, is we could also say well uh, equity equal EV minus debt, and we better include the existing debt as as debt. So uh, the the that's basically going to fund us the 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 the, the equity 
we put in and and so let's try this uh, let's get our existing debt up here and this is why let's get our uh, just a minute where, where did i put the the 97 percent uh, 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 whoops let's do this one again f4 copy that to this one okay so the existing debt we're going to take the and, and maybe if you argue with me about this i would love to hear what i'm doing wrong I, I hope i'm not arrogant about this stuff okay it's this times the 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 balance of the debt times our transaction period so we get get it nice and laid out and then our new debt is is the amount we were given okay and the the uh, uh again f4 times the, the the transaction period at this time okay and then the equity we need to put our minimum equity in here maximum equity excuse me and then we can say well we'll take the ent the the enterprise value minus the debt is the equity and then we'll put a, a minimum of that or the the amount we were given and luckily then we can multiply that by our uh, transaction period and and then let's so so that's our sources and uses and because we're assuming the the, the debt uh, uh, that's the amount of uh, of equity the the balance sheet balances basically I, we can we better put a total uh, assuming okay and we put a total here i hope i'm right i'm, I'm sure if if anybody's watching this somebody might argue vehemently with this and and, and what i like to do here is uh, shift control uh, 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 e let's put a little you know whatever a, a subtotal here now once you have that let's put our other debt we're, we're, we're putting into this thing so we can get kind of that the the equity irr but you know what i would do first is i would kind of make a a, a free cash cash fl flow to the firm and to do that let's let's put uh, uh, our EBITDA less how about let's call it free cash flow before tax okay and and then I I, I don't want to get too crazy so maybe we'll just stop there and then eventually get the equity because they they obviously don't even care about this less WC change and uh, uh, we could I'm not going to put less taxes and less uh, 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 capex and this will show this we, we think about these things a little bit so we got we have this one and wh where's our uh, <laughs> come on our, 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 our uh, EBITDA okay shift control R and then let's let's get our our famous 97 percent here for the rest of this stuff because i guess somebody else is gonna keep being responsible for that so we can go up here and get our working capital change and multiply that by our our 97 now i am not sure if you have a comment on this i would love it uh uh, uh what happened to my EBITDA? What did I do here? Oh, shoot. EBITDA to fund. Uh, uh, I, I meant to put that. That should have been multiplied by the, the this operating period. What am I doing here? Okay. Uh, uh, and, and why does that? No, I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. This is our EBITDA to fund. This is, I was right, of course. Let's put that back to the transaction period. 
and then let's put down here oh, we, we can just put it down here so our EBITDA is the EBITDA we got up here multiplied by the 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 okay f4 and let's okay okay there we go and uh, uh and then we have those capex and again we're only responsible for 97 percent of that and and let's let's find those 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 capex we put in okay and and so finally we have our uh, pre-tax cash flow uh, uh, and that's just going to be and and maybe okay uh, let's do this because they probably moan about it i'll give in give in on these uh, i'm putting these as a minus and and then we'll sh alternate equal i you know it i i know if you don't have this generic macros it's going to be bad and then we can say okay uh, uh then we can put less the uh, EV paid so we're just totally right now we're we're ignoring any of the financing and that's let's put a again a minus on this one okay and that was already adjusted for our 97 percent and then we can put a, 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 our net cash flow okay and and uh, let's just this plus that and I want to see what the IRR is. And this is now we can put IRR to show we're smart. We can say using uh, uh, X IRR. Okay. And, and let's put equal X IRR. Now, ooh, if we, uh, the, the unfortunate thing about this, we should put minus point. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, and, and I'm going to leave that. Some people, crit I got criticized in, by an auditor for for doing that and making the formula different. And I said, screw you, you idiot. Okay, so, ah, uh, and then uh, th this this is without, how about net cash flow? This, this is without terminal value. Oh, good. So I'm just... Uh, Okay, so this is if we, yeah, that's a pretty good uh, IRR. That's totally okay. Net cash flow, uh, uh, no TV. And and what we, I should have done is with all of these things, I did multiply it by the operating switch, okay? And uh, let's just stop here because that gives us a nice kind of indication. But let's now... Uh, 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 Let's now compute our debt balances, and we need those before we get taxes because interest is going to be deductible for taxes. So we can put our new uh, 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 debt balance, new debt. And then we have this horrible bullet repayment. So we put repayment, bullet repayment. And we're going to have some negative equity. And, and I, I don't know if the best thing to do is to, to, to uh, 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 on this one. So, so that's, that's our five years. And I, it, th this kind of making this, th this little flag up at the top, uh, uh, I think was probably worth it. And, uh, and I meant to put equal, not less than or equal. Okay. And, and then we, we uh, <laughs> put, put uh, opening and then add the, let's add the draw. And the draw is, uh, uh, and the draw is, is, uh, what we, we've got the draw up in the sources and uses less the uh, repayment and, and and let's just grab this uh, uh, let's grab this thing okay and uh, put uh, and, and then put the closing balance 
Okay. And we, we uh, so the opening balance is always equal to the closing balance. The amount we draw is up here, right from our sources and uses. The repayment is going to be the, uh, 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 let, let, let's get the total amount we're, we're issuing. And the repayment is going to be the, this divided by this times the, the repayment period. Okay, I just put, and then our closing balance. I'm going to leave this positive minus this, or I guess we could, uh, let's, let's put this as a negative this time. Okay, and this was uh, just the sum now. Okay, alternate equal. Shift control R, and then we, oops, yeah, we have the draw, and then I didn't mean to divide it by five. This is just, this time it's just F4 times the, the, the flag, okay? And then we can put our interest. Okay, and, and that let's put uh, and, and let's get our interest rate, which is our credit spread plus this enormous interest. Okay, so let's this time I, I suppose we can take uh, uh, the average of the opening and the, the closing balance and multiply that by our seven percent and multiply that by our operating period my gosh it does it it is true that these flags make a very big difference and 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 why did i no i didn't put this as a negative number okay because i never do that i always use this positive number convention and okay so that's it so how in the heck are we going to pay this for when 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 we have this this ebby daw how are we going to pay this. Now we could add a, a, a refinancing. How about I'll put refinance of, of, uh, of, of debt and we can put opening uh, uh, balance, add uh, draws, uh, less repayment maybe we can assume that that that, that, that occurs uh, whatever uh, 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 over 20 years or something like that closing balance and then an interest okay and then don't let's not forget about our bond uh, 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 for 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 our capex and we have the the uh, 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 draw, let's put the draw period. And luckily we, we already have this and oh God, I, I got to do all this crap. Oh, whoops, oh shoot. Okay. And then, uh, that, that, then we, we have a flag and, and then we have an opening balance. And then we'll add the draw. Now, now this one, we put something in here. Where did I put that? We take 20% of the capex. So uh, and multiply this by the, where's our, where's our capex up here? And I better put that as a negative. Okay, and then let's put repayment and, and uh, I made some kind of assumption because they didn't give it to us. So I'm trying to do it as simple as possible. And, and we'll, we'll put the, uh, let's, get, let's do a trick here. I, I get the sum, uh-oh, oh. well, we're gonna get this across and then we'll take this divided by the 20 years okay and and we, we're getting a little bit into well should it's the 97 percent so that those other people will do that and then up here we'll put the uh, 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 
Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. Did I do something crazy here? I don't think, think so. The draw period is this uh, is this year when we made the capex. Okay, that we already put in. So this is going to be nice and easy to do. F four equals the the year. Uh -huh. Okay. And another thing for uh, and then the 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 the, uh, <laughs> the repayment the the. We need a repayment period, and and let's let's just do a flag, and and let's take this. I'm going to cheat a little bit, but I'm going to add the the twenty years to this. I should have put it somewhere else, but we'll put and the year is the 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 year is is greater than or equal to to this year. Uh, uh, this year. And the year is less than or equal to, to, to this year. Okay, and uh, uh, phew, this is so boring, I can't take it. But now we can put our. Uh, yes, let's repay it in the, the first year. Fine, okay, and, and kind of it occurs in the middle of the year anyway. So we take this number and multiply it by our repayment and make that a negative amount okay and then we we uh, get our our closing balance and and then i i can see how people would have been going completely they they always you know <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm having to go really quickly, and I don't know. <laughs> this would have been really, really hard. Uh, uh, the opening balance is equal to the closing balance. And, and you know, I, I, I don't know what they really expect here. The opening balance plus this, plus that. Okay, I should have done alternate equal, whatever. And you can always do this this shift control uh, uh, g if you can put oh, whoops uh, let's put shift control e and, and and let's do that for this closing balance whoops oh this one this closing balance up here and i you know what i'm thinking now is maybe just if you if, if you kind of think through and, and get this listed at least oh no oh i can't get this oh whatever <laughs> that for a minute and then uh, uh, that we've got the the uh, 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 we've got kind of all the debt and and let's put the interest uh, uh, interest and okay and um, and now we, we're going to be able to compute the taxes so our interest is here the good news is we're basically through all the assumptions which means we're getting close to the the end uh, average of the opening and the closing balance. This is for me. I'm learning how to do this kind of stuff. You can see times times this. Okay, I you know I thought through this before. Oh God. Uh, uh, uh. Oh shoot! Wasting your time on this kind of stuff. But copy this. Uh, Alt E S T and then okay. Okay, good. And and then uh, let's put our total in, total repayment and our total interest. And, and uh, uh, okay, and, and the total repayment. Let's ah, uh, we'll leave it as a negative, I guess. Okay, so we've got the repayment. This existing debt, we have to multiply that by our 97%. Uh, uh, I'm just going to cheat and find one because I'm getting slow. Okay, and and then we've after that we've oh and that better be a negative. I didn't put it as a negative up there, but foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of a petty mind. Plus the 
repayment on the 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 uh, new debt we had plus the repayment if we had anything on the refinance debt plus the repayment on this this uh, 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 bond okay so that's a that's our repayment and let's just kind of cheat that's 14 million and we've got uh, EBITDA of a hundred million but pre-tax cash flow of a hundred million 36 million uh, uh, and and then we have to remember to add that 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 new issuance of debt and, and all that so and let's get the total uh, the total interest which is this times oh god I really that makes me feel really bad but the total interest is this one and and this one uh, and uh, this one we don't have yet and uh, this one okay who oh, we're getting there I promise okay and and we better kind of multiply this whole stupid thing by uh, minus one so we're kind of doing this and now let's let's go and get our taxes and finally do a let's put our taxes here and then after that we'll do some kind of cash flow waterfall and I think what we we've left out is we'll we'll put just oh come on why didn't that don't show this why why will that what 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 it oh, I, that's a new thing in excel <laughs> and we put terminal uh, uh, value we need some terminal value in this th this thing and our cash flow waterfall will be our EBITDA uh, less the 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 working capital less the 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 le, less the okay uh, come on the the capex that uh, uh, something's happening uh, and then less the taxes uh, and then finally we can put how about we'll put a subtotal this is all it's not exactly free cash flow to the firm because the taxes aren't right less the interest and how about less the the repayment now and and how about add the refinancing which we don't have but we would discuss that and then we could put add the uh, terminal value and and then let's get a, a total equity uh, cash flow and after we get a total equity cash flow I've got to see how we're doing on the time you can see how impossible this is oh we've got half an hour okay uh, 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 we can get the equity IRR and we can get the payback period and the yield in each year and finally then we can put in our different scenarios okay so let's do that and for the terminal value I just said okay exit value let's put EV to EBITDA and let's say this is a let's say we give them four times okay because we've got little much less remaining life uh, but we have some remaining life and of course if we change the, the 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 exit year we should change that so we should if we get a chance to discuss this model we would we would discuss all of these these kind of things and and doing this in a fancy way but we show we're smart enough that we at least show what they haven't done correctly so let's start with our EBITDA 
and then let's put our depreciation in and and don't forget to do this we'll put a uh, we, we'll get our our um, uh, 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 percentages okay okay and then we'll we'll put our ebit and you know what we should do also is is uh, in that terminal year we we should also put uh, 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 when, when, when we get rid of it, we'll put return of uh, and terminal year. Okay, we could get really fancy just to show that we've we, we, we've thought through these things. Okay, and after we do that, we'll put uh, uh, less uh, taxes and just insert a few more lines. And, and what you should be able to do is once you you get the EBT before NOL, and then we should be able to do the NOL really fast. You can put opening NOL, and then just to show how good you are, you 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 below that you you uh, you put add the NOL generated less the, the, the NOL used and closing uh, NOL and then you put adjusted EBT and then and then you put the uh, 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 taxes okay and now all we have to do is fill in this this crap so luckily we go upstairs and and i'm relaxing just a tiny bit now because we've got our EBITDA and then we've got our uh, depreciation uh just a minute oh no i didn't i i didn't uh, add them up okay but we we have this depreciation plus that depreciation okay and then that's the difference and then we put uh, 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 what, what what this was supposed to be less interest okay so we can just grab our that's why we computed the interest up here and then we have the, the this plus that to get our EBT. And then this is so simple. You make the opening balance equal the closing balance, and you put a maximum of this or zero, but not that or zero. You put a minus of this or zero, and that gives you the NOL generated and the NOL used is the minimum of how much we have to start with or the maximum of the this or zero and then our closing balance is the opening balance plus this minus this you know what what i should do is save this as lbo case okay and uh, i don't know if it's really lbo but it's pretty similar to in in my opinion and then you uh shift control r and uh okay what's going on here we have oh we don't have any we have this positive amount and our depreciation is pretty low so we're paying all the taxes it looks like and we keep paying that and good okay whatever i, I might have done something wrong but at least we have the mechanics here and then let's go up and get our our uh, uh, tax rate and multiply and i you know it might be oh adjusted ebt excuse me taxes paid adjusted ebt is why would they have given you this huh. 
did I do something wrong with the Evita? I, I, I did. I probably did something wrong. I'm hurrying, obviously. Uh, and if somebody will correct me. So we add back any any amount that's that's generated and subtract the amounts that's used. That's how we do it. And then we get our taxes uh, tax rate, and we take this times the the the. The, oops, uh, this one times the, the, the tax rate. Okay, I hope you see, I'm just rambling here, uh, uh, but I hope you see, you know, this is kind of the shift control V. I hope you see that whatever you do, you, you've got to be fast with this stuff. I am so sorry about that, but you really do. And... It looks like there was no gigantic, idiotic kind of thing I did. What, what was this one? Shift Control V. Okay. Uh, uh, so so then we let's put our terminal value here. Uh, let's get our terminal value. How about we'll put some four times? Who knows? Okay. Uh, uh, and then I suppose we should. Uh, 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 Let's let's be a little more transparent about all of this. And the only reason I'm doing this is we might have a tiny bit of time here. Okay, uh, uh, multiple. And then we can put our, how about, how about let's do this. And then after we do this, let's put our EBITDA. And, and we've got this one, which is just right up here. And we, we uh, 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 after that, let's put our terminal. Now, I, I have this ch chair that was kind of, I got to take, but then I'm slouching on it like a horrible idiot. Okay, so we, we put the, we, we don't, the, the we have the uh, 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 terminal period here, so we can just make this, we go back up to our famous year, maybe this year should have been up at the top, equal uh, this one, okay, and then we can uh, get our uh, terminal value, and then we could, Uh, have a big debate as to whether that's tax taxable or not, but for now, obviously, it's we we we're, there's no way to for them to expect you could do anything like this, and you can just think about it. So so let's go upstairs and get our EBITDA. Let's put a minus. No, we we've already put a minus on it, so we did that little thing up up at the top, which I think was kind of valuable, and then we can get our capex uh, here, and then I'm going to leave that one out for a minute, and then we can put in our, our taxes paid. Now, when we do all of this, we should multiply this always by the, the uh, uh, do, do we have a, 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 a uh, 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 holding period. Yes, we already have a holding period. Okay, and so I'm multiplying every single one of these by the holding period up here. It would have been almost nice to show that right at the start. Uh, uh, and then I screwed up. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm losing it. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay. Uh, you, you, you know, let's let's do this. Remember, I, I I'm really old, really really old. So maybe you can type faster than me. If you can, good. I'm, I I think yeah you know it, it, it's hard to really get going on this 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 crap 
but I, but so let's just multiply all of these by by that little re repeat of the holding period flag and the the thing i would love to I, i'm trying to teach by the way somewhere because i'm sick of some of the stuff i do uh, uh and if you have your university wants a project finance person that would be great and, and, and then uh, uh, so this one times the this one okay and then let's just uh okay and and so we can uh, uh, whoops this is actually a minus isn't it because there are the taxes we paid oh okay and now let let's put a a sum of this stuff since I've used negative numbers okay and I almost I'm gonna go ahead and shift control E and and, uh, and and then let's put our interest in and I'm very curious to see what kind of we can just take it from here I guess and then let's put our repayment up here oh this is hard this is really i i feel so bad for you i i'm just about to cry for you i really really am anybody who gets kind of what a bunch of th these people who who make this stuff must be really evil and, and and let's add up our let's put our terminal value in just to show that we're kind of smart okay and then uh, uh, let's get our equity cash flow, which is the the sum of all this stuff. Okay, and uh, and and then we 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 put our uh, uh, equity investment. And that's the good news here is we have a transaction period and we 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 get that from uh, uh, up here and we only put that much money in so it looks like our I'm gonna leave that as a positive just for, for, for now because how am I doing oh I've got a, a couple minutes left oh my gosh and and then we we, we take the net equity uh, cash flow which is is this one minus this one and in the very first period put a tiny minus point zero 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 one and then we're getting to the, the for me the meaningful number x i r r and and we take this equity cash flow and and now i'm just looking at a couple of things i obviously made a mistake on it because I forgot it looks like I forgot to uh, and, and and we use this one and it gave us some crazy thing and and, and we have this ah, we, 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 we need to add the uh, bond issue uh, uh, okay let's go and find that one where was that? Oh, come on. And, and then now I'm really worried that I'm getting some meaningless uh, 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 IRR. Just a minute. This is, uh, okay, let's, uh, and then when we do the sum, does it, it takes that one. So we still have a negative equity cash flow that didn't cover our CapEx. And then we have this gigantic negative equity cash flow. And then we have to, also we we really have to repay the balance of the debt oh god uh, see uh, 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 and uh, okay less <sighs> oh outstanding and luckily we have this terminal value uh, uh, flag and we can multiply it by the uh, when are we going to sell this are we going to sell this at the I'm going I'm going to uh, take the opening balance just for now and uh, the opening balance of the debt 
plus the opening balance of the other debt. Uh, well, we could use the refinance debt plus the opening balance because we put the repayment in there for, for, for this year. I think that's correct. Plus the opening balance of the, of the existing debt multiplied by our famous factor. Okay. We got to pay that off and that's going to be a negative. Okay, that's a bad formula, so we could get in trouble for that, but w w whatever. Uh, uh, and then we've got to make sure our interest is multiplied by our flag, and our repayment is multiplied by our flag. And then we've kind of got this whole cash flow statement uh, here. And then the, the, the very first thing I would do is up here, I would put the total equity cash flow as a sum oh no we've got a negative number so that's not there's no way that's going to work okay and 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 uh uh what what went on here okay Ooh, this repayment of the existing debt killed us uh and and, and what was this repayment of the outstanding debt was this this gigantic bullet repayment we had uh, and our uh, so we got 85 million and then uh, okay and okay let's let's cheat on something let's make our instead of let's put this as 2027 okay and and uh, 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 and we got this we had this positive IRR it's not making much sense because the 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 uh, 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 equity IRR should be more than this so I've got a I've, I've got some kind of mistake here <sighs> I'm gonna this repayment of the outstanding debt. Let's just put that down there. So then we got 10.88, but we really do have to pay the outstanding debt we have left. And uh, I think, well, I, I'm going to do, before I, oof, where is our, our, our uh, we, we get, a terminal value here uh, I'm gonna put uh, uh, right here at the terminal value let but before I do this let's pretend I'm running out of time okay and we're I have well, this was close okay and up here we could go all the way way up here and just once we do this put a scenario number and, and let's just put one. And then all we do is we put equal index. Uh, uh, and then we take these three numbers for all of it, you know, and, and then we press F4 and then copy that down and then copy this to this one and this one and this one. So let's put 2027 in all these things. And, and then the key thing is you can uh, uh, copy it to this one. I'm, I'm going to leave this one out. Shift Control W so we can copy it to other things. And But this is the one we really want to do is down here. We want to copy this to, to, to here because that and Shift Control P. So if we take the number two, then we'll get the low case. Take the number three, we'll get the high case. Uh, I was going to do a formatting on this one, but but uh, 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 that illustrates it, okay? And I think that's that's kind of enough of that. And then I think we should put up here. Let let's put the uh, uh, existing debt. And and let's finally, I'm going to use my ninety seven percent. <sighs> and, and, and let's take the 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 uh, uh, wherever the, the 
where's the terminal flag times the the uh, uh, the existing debt and I said the reason I, I, I got comfortable with that we're, we're, we're having the repayment here so we can use we've got to pay off the we already paid off the no we're taking the closing balance excuse me it's it's this one times this one times the uh, the Yes, I'm still making my video. I'm just about done. And then the 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 let's put the new debt. I don't interrupt. No, you can't interrupt me. Okay, and let's get the, the, again, it's the closing balance, not the opening balance. And I was, I, I have this fear of, of, uh, of circular references, but that's going to be zero, right? And then let's put the bond. Okay, and then, so we, we that, that's what we, uh, 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 and, and then this is debt repayment at, at exit okay and, and, and we put our bond in here and uh, that has a little bit of outstanding stuff left okay and we get to this one, it's I, 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 I had this complete. It looks like and the existing debt. Whoops. Uh, 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 oops, and I, I, I need to multiply this by the the terminal flag. Okay, and this this one multiplied by the terminal flag. And then, so, oh, come on, I've, I've, we got the bond and and. This, there's something wrong here because I know we have some debt left, don't we? Uh, uh, debt balance, that's the new debt. And uh, existing debt has, has uh, 165, so this was row number 68. Where I put this, I'm just going to redo it. F4 times the, the this times. Let's go up and find that closing balance. Maybe I took the wrong debt. Okay. And this, I'm just about to close because this was hell. Really horrible. Okay, so we we have this and let let's see i i put enough terminal value in here so this should be positive and as long i i suppose i you know i i, I have no idea if they gave you you know two days to do this and you could do it at home or whatever and and, and you could really uh, uh, uh you could really uh, uh, whoops. Uh, it, you could really think about things. That that is kind of okay. Maybe uh, they they've got a whole bunch of open issues like like how are we going to refinance the debt? Uh, uh, and where in the heck am I now? I'm I'm getting all uh, flustered. Okay, and, and let's put a minus on this. And, uh, oh, we don't have a good equity IRR when we're all said and done. And we didn't put much equity in this. And maybe we should have put some inflation. And if we put some inflation in, in, in this thing, uh, uh, we could have got more. And I could have made a whole bunch of mistakes. But, but let's do, for the payback period, let, let's, let's just do this one. 
and and put accumulated uh, cash. Now I've got a payback function that I'm all proud of and all that, but we can take this plus this and see when this number becomes exactly zero. Ooh, uh, no, no, when, when this number switches to zero, and, and I'm going to delete that one. And so the payback period, and let's put payback using X lookup. And you, you can put, oh God, I'm looking at that IRR, not, not happy about that. X lookup, and I, I, I just can't, I, I'm, I'm, I should, after this video is finished, I should kind of turn it off and try to figure out where I made a mistake. Uh, and then you put comma, if you're not found, let's put a zero. No, we, we, we take th that one, X lookup, just a minute, we, we, we take the X lookup and then, oh, let's take this, this line after we do that, okay, and then put zero comma zero. Oops, and then I did something wrong. Oh, because I have to start here, okay, and that's another thing I did wrong. It should have found this one and it didn't get a payback till year year nine in this case until the the terminal value okay and well uh, 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 and the yield is is kind of like the the cash flow divided by the initial equity which i'll lock in oh 19 percent the meaning such a meaningless number i can hardly stand it why did this X lookup not work? Just I'm gonna pause. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't need a, a a zero zero. What in the heck happened? I'm just going. To, what did I do? Did I do something? The Ebby doll was similar to the 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 hi history. We added the synergies. Working capital changes were almost nothing. We put in the 70 capex that they demanded we put in. Depreciation was kind of on such a low value anyway. I think we were pretty careful with the debt. I can't do this. I'm gonna, the only way, it, 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 it kind of doesn't work. Um, we, Why did the, the the one mystery here is that uh, well let's let's change the interest rate on this let's change this ridiculous credit spread to two percent and when we uh, do that what kind of IRR did we get we still only got eight percent which is kind of okay but um uh, uh, why. And, and, and again, if, if we, let's, let's change this and make the exit period two oops, so th this one we can't do now. And let's, oh, let's do the most important thing. I'm doing one more thing. Oh my God, we got to save time at the end to do this. Oh, oh, okay. And why is it taking a minute to find the sum function? Because something's a little bit slow. Okay, I just learned something, but uh, so so we can color our input sheet again. Oh no, but but I should have done something else before I colored it. Okay, I should have hit the reset button first, and when you uh, uh, hit the reset button, press this uh, delete format conditions, and then and then do coloring the sheet. Okay, and and then. We better do it, of course, on this one. So let's do the same thing. Hit the reset button first. And uh, do you want to de delete them? Yes. And then uh, let's color the top to be really fancy. And uh, see what we get. Okay. Really. All right. <laughs> 
please, how, if you get nervous about these tests, and if you're still watching this video after all this time, you're an amazing person. You deserve a ex uh, Elvis badge or something. Definitely, I should have kind of fixed some of that formatting. But it, it, the, the test is written in, in a kind of sloppy way with respect to the refinancing, with respect to no information about the bond, with, with, with respect to the no terminal value, all of that. It's really written in such a sloppy way. How do you get it? My still big concern is, I suppose this is after tax, and I suppose we're paying a high kind of level of taxes and it, it, it but but again it, it seems that uh, this interest doesn't look that bad to me and uh, did I do something wrong I don't see what I did any wrong if there's a net operating loss so if if we want to just check it really quickly uh, if I if I put a zero for the tax rate and then maybe I, I'm going to go up here and put the equity IRR right here And, and we can do all our kind of sensitivity analysis. Oh, that tax rate made a big difference, I see. And and maybe there was an NOL, but but I don't see, and did I do the depreciation wrong or something like that? P perhaps uh, I'm gonna save this and let you fix it, okay? And I'll put this if you want to find the files for this, again, I, I, I told you I found them. This is my zero uh, revenue sheet. And I'm not complaining, by the way. I don't think I'm complaining. I'm going to put hellish corporate modeling interviews. Maybe I'll put LBO and corporate here. But I'll, I'll probably also put it down here in torture chamber interviews, okay? Uh, so let, let's stop this video. Ugh. <sighs>